Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com. Um, today I'm just doing a preview, uh, just kind of letting you know what the next video is going to be about. I took a few days off um, this week uh, just to play around. Um, took some time off from my doll book just to get, kind of let my, my brain rest a little bit, do something different. And the, the project that I'm going to be working on in the next um, week or so um, is a uh, something totally different than we've done before. It's, it has nothing whatsoever to do with paper mache, but I did ask out on the blog what people would like to do next, and several pe people suggested that they wanted to learn how to use concrete instead of paper mache so that they could put their sculptures outside and have something that's permanent and that they could really uh, trust it to last. So what I did, uh, I ordered some uh, latex for a mold. Um, I got this from Engineer Guys. We had a little bit of problem with it. I don't know if they've got new guys back in the shop or what, but it, it came with no instructions whatsoever. I, 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 I bought this on the recommendation from a fellow on a forum who had great luck with it, and he said his came with instructions and mine didn't, so we're kind of going to make it up as we go along. It's very thick, that was why he suggested it. It's really good. It won't take so many layers. Uh, latex can be rather um, time consuming. Latex molds are done in layers and they have to be very thin and they have to dry between layers so it takes a long time and, and the thicker uh, seemed like a good idea. And then of course um, we have to have something to make a mold of. <laughs> so um, I, I made mine out of clay. I could have used a, a paper mache sculpture I already made but I didn't have anything that didn't have four legs and that would just be too hard for the first one. So I made this lion. I'm going to show you how that was done here. I started out, of course, by looking at a whole lot of photographs of lions and making sketches, try to get the basic shapes uh, just to understand how that face is built. And then I cut some foam board that I had lying around uh, just to build up the shapes so that I didn't have to use so much clay. You wouldn't have to do this, obviously, but um, it helped me to get that uh, slope correct uh, on the nose and um, it just used a lot less clay. I think there's still about 20 pounds of clay on the, on the lion, even with the foam underneath. And then I just started building up the shapes with my um, pottery clay. Um, the way that I choose the, the clay that I wanna use is I go to the local pottery store and ask for the clay that uh, they recommend for kids. <laughs> since, since I'm not going to be uh, firing it or using it for any, any sort of pottery, um, that always ends up being the clay that I like working with best. Seems to work. And once the foam was completely covered up, then I could start working on the actual shapes of the lion. Um, I just use a, a table knife for this. Um, it's kind of crude, but it works. Once I had the shapes pretty much the way I wanted, um, and they looked like the drawings that I had done uh, to use for models, I went ahead and um, found a book on my shelf on how to draw lions. Um, this is a female lion in the picture. It's not a terribly good book. I don't recommend you run out and buy one. <laughs> It seemed to help a little bit, and I also used uh, photographs, of course. And then I got my, my drawings back out just to make sure that I had um, got all the, the details that I had especially liked when I was uh, doing my original research. I'm just using a brush here to smooth out the clay. I didn't want it too smooth. Um, I've been wanting a lion head uh, for my garden wall. I don't actually have a garden wall. I'm going to build one, I guess. <laughs> but um, I've been wanting a lion head for years. And um, that, that was one of the reasons that I picked this particular subject. And for some reason, I, I really want it to be fairly rough, uh, show a lot of tool marks, um, um, make sure that the finished concrete, um, actually, you, you'll be able to tell when you're looking at it that the original was made with clay. For some reason, that, that matters to me, but I'm not really sure why. And now what we're doing is um, just going to let this guy dry. It's very wet out right now. I started this when the sun was shining. It was really hot. I thought it would go really fast, but uh, then it got really moist <laughs> out here on my front porch, um, especially with the, um, all this hydroponic uh, plants here. It's really adding a lot of moisture to the air, and my lion is not drying very quickly. I'm just going to let him get all the way uh, to um, 
leather hard stage, not hard all the way, but just leather hard. And he's almost there up on his nose, but down here on the lower parts, you know, water flows downhill, um, down here on his mane he's still too damp, and um, the stippling on the latex would probably damage it. So we're going to wait a couple more days, uh, wait till the weather turns um, so it's nice and warm and the latex will dry, and then I'll put together uh, a video to let you know how that's actually done. Um, after that, uh, we'll be casting a, a, a thin wall lion head, hopefully. It'll be my first one, so we're going to be, um, it's an experiment, wish me luck. So watch for that. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel or um, subscribed to my um, blog newsletter, do so. We'll let you know when that's coming. Um, and be sure to come and visit me at ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.